What you guys got another product review here for you. This is another mini PC that I wanted to review here. Now this says it supports up to 4K of uh, ultra high definition video viewing and also the operating system on here is a Windows 10 Pro which is activated. So you may be thinking this is going to be a great little medium, medium streamer and uh, something good like that is going to be great for my uh, living room or for my bedroom or something like that. Now you can see the specs on here do look pretty good. It has an Intel Atom X5 Z8350 processor with 2 meg cache. Uh, product model number is the Z832. You've got 1.92 gigahertz of processing power there, two gigabytes of installed RAM, and also the system uh, disk is 32 gigabytes. You've got a Wi-Fi card on here and also Ethernet on here, which uh, does support 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, the graphics is HD Graphics 400. So all looking at those specs there, you're thinking that we should get something pretty decent for our money. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what you need to be looking out for when you're purchasing uh, mini PCs or Android TV boxes. Now there's a lot of YouTubers that create content and what they want you to do is basically click on their link and purchase it okay but what you can see here everything in the box looks great you've got everything you need uh, here to get up and running uh, which is your mini PC as you can see here looks pretty uh, standard uh, but there's more to it okay so don't just read or watch other people's uh, content and think it's great. If they're telling you it's great, then do a bit more research because obviously some YouTubers will sell you short. And I'm not one of those guys, so I'm going to point out here that this uh, mini PC is pretty crap. It's uh, pretty poor. It doesn't uh, play very well. It doesn't play 4K at all. And uh, for the money, I think you can get a lot better for your money. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, some uh, footage here which I took uh, and I wasn't going to upload the video but I thought I'd upload the video just to show you how bad uh, some of these products are from China. So not all is great when you purchase a product from China. Now when I do a review, I do a thorough review and I thoroughly test it and if I think it's good, I'm going to give you my honest opinion and tell you that product is good. Now if I think it's rubbish or crap, I'll either won't upload it and won't promote it or I'll upload it and I will tell you what I think of it and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here. Now you can see here we do have HDMI cables in here, you get two of them inside and uh, you're going to get your power adapter and uh, your actual device here. You get a wall mounting bracket uh, but really, uh, as I said, don't be purchasing uh, stuff like this unless you get someone who you trust that's going to give you an, an honest opinion uh, of a product. Okay, And I've only seen a few of people on the internet that are actually doing that. A lot of people are just creating content and uh, hoping you're going to buy it through them so they get a kickback uh, with a bit of an um, Amazon uh, affiliate or i.e. Uh, Banggood or Gearbest affiliate and stuff like that. Now it doesn't really matter where you get your product from, whether it be Amazon and also eBay, uh, you know, China sites like Gearbest and Banggood and also there's loads of other ones out there. When you look at these products, some of them do look pretty good and there's going to be a lot of uh, guys that are reviewing this stuff are never going to give you an honest opinion because their interest is in about making money and also generating uh, SEO links for the company to get them exposure. Uh, but what you've got to understand here is looking at this product here, you can see it's got all your usual uh, stuff here. You've got the power button and also a power point here. Also USB 3.0, HDMI port and uh, your Ethernet port. It does have Wi-Fi on here and you've got your AV on there as well. Now, as I said, you've got a few other uh, USB ports here, a couple of other extra ones here. You've got your SD card slot for more storage. So what are you looking for? when you're purchasing one of these. Well, you want something that's pretty good that can do what it says on the box. Now, don't just read their website because I can guarantee you a lot of their stuff is being fluffed up and made it look really good. Now, remember, uh, the marketing in China is a lot different uh, to the UK. You can't get away with as much in the UK as you can in China. There's a lot of Photoshopping goes on with their images to make the bezels look smaller and make things look a lot more powerful than they actually are. Now if you are reviewing products make sure you're honest and never receive money for a positive review. Okay so let's check out the uh, stats. 
So okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this uh, mini PC has to offer. And uh, as you can see, we do have Windows 10 Pro on here and it is activated. So that's a, a good sign. Now, games, I did try a few different games, but I've only recorded one uh, just because I didn't want to bore you to tears. But basically, it does play a lot of games. I did try Asphalt uh, 8 and uh, it, it wouldn't be able to play that. It was having trouble, kept locking up and stuff like that. So that's not a good sign uh, for a mini PC. So let's move on to some samples here. Jellyfish, 120 megabits per second, 4K file running through uh, VLC 10 bit and uh, Android TV boxes play these files no problems and as you can see this one is completely locked up which is not acceptable really and uh, just for that alone I would not recommend this uh, mini PC again I tried it with another player just in case it was the uh, VLC uh, player so we tried another one which is the Jellyfish uh, 3 megabits per second you see it plays this file no problem nice and smooth no issues at all and now we move up to the 60 megabits per second and uh, we can see here this is a 10 bit file and boop it stops so it can't handle 4k files and uh, that's the truth of it really doesn't matter what you try to use it does start to glitch out on some of these uh, players. Now I did try it Windows Media Player. I tried a few other different players and it wasn't having it. Some of them wouldn't even play. Some of them were giving us a, a, an error message. So it's not looking good for this mini PC to be fair. And this is what you've got to, uh, this is what you've got to look out for when you're purchasing mini PCs from other uh, channels. You're watching other channels. Some people won't show you the bad side of things I'm not like that. I'm going to show you the good and the bad, and this is the reason why I'm showing you here. So you can see here we're running this through Windows Media Player, and all of a sudden it stops. It just locks up. And this is becoming a bit of a common theme for this uh, particular mini PC. Uh, so I would avoid this like the plague. You can play it on this one, as you can see here. It's not having a problem playing on here. It's a little bit stuttery. As you can see on the picture there, that should be nice and smooth. So either something is wrong with this uh, mini PC. It's either faulty. Now we've got the real Sony 4K, 60 frames per second. As you can see, jerky as anything really. It's unplayable. And uh, this can run, I've seen this um, video run on 25 pound uh, TV, Android TV boxes. So I'm just going to give you a benchmark here. I'm going to wrap this one up pretty shortly because uh, it's not all that good, to be honest. So we've got the pass mark rating is 598.4. And of course, I tried some streaming on uh, YouTube. And we're on 480p here. So I'm just going to upgrade this to the 4K here. And as you can see, it's uh, locked up on there as well. Now, of course, I've tried loads of different things. I've updated the uh, mini PC. I've done everything and it won't play. It's having a right issue with some of the problems here with uh, streaming video and also playing video files. It's very limited, so it's definitely not a 4K uh, mini PC, which they're claiming it to be. It's either one of two things. It's either a 14 mini PC uh, box with a bad chip or something like that, or it's just a load of rubbish. One of those two, steer clear of it. Uh, and, and don't buy this sort of thing okay now the reason why i'm telling you this is because i want to point out that not all youtubers that review stuff are honest and they're just gonna put something out there and say it's fantastic they sometimes don't even test it thoroughly and uh, they'll lead you down the garden path and hopefully you're going to click on their link and buy it and they'll get some uh, kickback on it i'm not like that i want to give you guys an honest opinion and uh as I said, this has not turned out too well for this uh, mini PC, so steer clear of this one, okay? Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Sorry it's a bad one, but bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, click on the red subscribe button, and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button, and this will notify you when I upload new videos.